Yo, how are we doing everybody? So today I'm going to be doing a Wizakoopa and Boomer Guide. Uh, these two bosses are pretty straightforward, pretty quick, so I figured I'd do them both in uh, one video. So with Wizakoopa here, I'm going to be intentionally dealing less damage, not trying to go for these action commands. Because um, uh, for two reasons, one to show what this boss can do, because um, <laughs> the first time I did this fight, I beat him in like two turns and because of that I didn't even know that he had uh, <laughs> different abilities because like yeah at first it's like oh okay he just can hit me with some like A spells I can't block but nope he has uh, another trick up his sleeve again <laughs> not good enough but here it is so he can like summon these eggs and yeah inside one is Bahamut which um, you can get this in one of the doors earlier in Bowser's Keep, but if you missed it there, this is another place where you can encounter Bahamut. Um, you don't get the reward uh, for defeating this Bahamut though, unfortunately. You don't get all the coins, but if you want to get the Thought Peak, this is a place where you can get it. So there is that. Um, then there's two other uh, monsters that he can summon this one over here. Let's take a look. And huzzah, we got clone, or <laughs> the Jinx clone. So the Jinx clone, very similar to um, actual Jinx. Like his HP is lower, he's way easier to knock out, but his attacks are still pretty tricky to get the timings for. And yeah, like he does really good damage. Like those triple kicks, even on block, are definitely hitting pretty nice. The silver bullet, <laughs> that move just kills you. So <laughs> yeah, it's best to knock out uh, the clone Jinx as fast as possible. But yeah, no, nah, I just uh, wanted to block a few times to see the different attacks. And then yeah, there was the Quicksilver. Unfortunately, like uh, that was not a perfectly timed guard, so. That is poor little Molo defeated. But yeah, like, um, again, with how uh, low Jinx's HP is, you can you can just attack him and he's all done. <laughs> so yeah, not really that big an issue. I just think it's cool that there is a boss that can essentially summon another boss, even if it does have uh, less HP compared to what it normally would have. But yeah, I just thought that was uh, an interesting mechanic. Because yeah, like... Um, the Wizard Koopa, like, he really doesn't have that much going on because it's like, he relies on these enemies. And it is interesting though, because like, while the enemies are in front of Wizard Koopa, you can't actually target him. Like, even if you use a spell that like hits all enemies or anything like that, you'll only hit the monster that Wizard Koopa summons. So like, that is a very uh, interesting mechanic. I'm pretty sure uh, that was in at least one of the other fights, at least like um, that unique interaction where it's like there's something in front and so you can't target the back. Oh yeah, that was uh, the booster fight. That's optional. So this might be your first time encountering it. But um, but yeah, no, like I thought that was uh, definitely cool. And obviously it is different in the fact that he can continuously summon enemies. So that's, you know, more turns where he can be behind something. But yeah, here we go. Here's the King Bomb. The King Bomb, um, definitely want to get the Thought Peak on this guy as well. Make sure we can add him to the monster list so we can 100% uh, complete that. But yeah, this guy, he's weak to fire, <laughs> but also he'll just explode, right? You can't block it. It deals decent-ish damage. Um, obviously, I am guarding, so I'm taking less damage than I would had I not been doing so. But yeah, that's basically everything Wizakupa has to show off. So we'll just go ahead and end the fight here. But um, yeah, this is uh, really good at this point in the game. Like uh, defeating Wizakupa, he's going to give you a treasure chest that has infinite gold inside of it. So if there's any items that you haven't yet bought, you should be able to take care of that now. And these two doors, the left door and the right door, uh, the left door has Croco inside and he will sell you, I think the best like defensive equipment you can wear. So yeah, definitely go into that left door before the right one. Don't don't just completely leave that behind because that's some really good gear. Uh, speaking of which, we can take that gear into this fight. This is the uh, next boss. I believe he is the highest ranking officer 
of Smithy before we go into the Dark World. Uh, technically, there still is Exor left, but I guess he's like a gate or a tool. He's considered instead of being like a uh, axe warrior or whatever these like weapon guys are that Smithy creates. But yeah, this guy here, once again, I'm going to be doing um, lower damage. I'm not going for my action commands because I'll, I'll beat the boss too fast. And <laughs> that won't make for too good a guide if you were actually trying to be like, hey, this boss is too hard. What do I do? Which, yeah, that might be due to my equipment, my levels. Um, I haven't been trying to grind or anything like that, but I do try to encounter a lot of enemies. This blizzard does no damage. Like, this boss has a, he has a decent amount of HP. Uh, relative to the game, it's not that much because your damage output is so high, but technically, compared to other enemies, yeah, he, he has a lot of HP. But yeah, like, um, he does some basic attacks and uh, the magic spells, but the damage there is really low. Um, however, like, a unique mechanic is, yeah, he switches between, like, the red and blue. And yeah, when he's... Oh yeah, that shaker ability, that's death. <laughs> if he hits you with that, you die. You go from full HP to zero. Um, you might go to one if you get a late guard. You go to zero if you don't get a guard at all. So <laughs> you do need to guard that. Um, with Bowser, he's wearing the accessory you get from the optional secret hidden boss Culex. So um, I'm immune to death. Mario is not. Um, I think the Jinx belt, that one also has immunity to death. Um, I think Gino's the one wearing the... Uh, is it that accessory? I can't remember. But yeah, there are two accessories that uh, protect you from death, and Mario's not wearing either one. <laughs> that that much is for sure. Uh, oh yeah, I think Mario's wearing the Troopa medal, that's what it is. So, um, which yeah, those really increase damage, so you definitely want to get those items if you don't have them already. But yeah, I was gonna say, he switches between red and blue. Red, I think, is weak to magic, and blue is weak to physical attacks. And if you attack into him, with what he's weak to, he will counter with that uh, shaker ability. And the shaker ability can outright kill you. So either A, have the accessories, or B, just be like really good with your timing. Cause uh, that's that's a bit rough. Um, that is the fight here. Uh, definitely not too bad. Um, I do think that like uh, Mario Gino Bowser is a great way to go through this fight. Cause he's gonna start in red. And so you can just pile on the physical attacks and not have to worry about the counter stance. And once he uh, turns blue, you could just, you know, chill there just to fend for a bit. But uh, yeah, either way, that's going to be my guide. If you have any questions, just let me know in the comments down below. But uh, yeah, that's going to be me. Peace.